Welcome. Today the church celebrates the feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross. Our presider today is Father Frank. We should should glory glory in in the cross cross of our our Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, in in whom whom is our salvation, life, and and resurrection, resurrection, through through whom whom you are saved saved and and delivered. delivered. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God God in the highest, and and on on earth earth peace peace to people people of good will. We We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We We give you thanks thanks for your great great glory. Lord Lord God, God, heavenly King, King, O God, almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And if they who have been bitten look at it, they will not die. Moses, accordingly, made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. 
Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do Do not not forget forget the the works of of the Lord. Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from of old. Do not Not forget forget the works of the Lord. While he slew them, they sought him and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. Do not not forget forget the works of the Lord. Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues. Though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not not forget forget the the works works of the Lord. Lord. Be he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger and let none of his wrath be roused. Do Do not not forget forget the the works works of of the Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father." The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross, you have redeemed the world. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ.
exaltation of the Holy Cross. That would have been a strange kind of combination to the time when Jesus lived, when the cross was an instrument of disgrace and failure. The capital punishment of the day for not giving allegiance to the government, to the emperor. And yet Jesus takes that same instrument of torture and death and exalts it by the way he uses it. And just like in the days of Moses when they lifted up that seraph servant, everyone who looks on that cross is somehow healed. The feast celebrates the finding of that cross by Helena. And the story is recounted when they went among those ruins in the Holy Land and they found those three crosses. But which one, which one was the cross of Christ? And there was a woman who had died and they placed her hand on each of the crosses. And when she got to that one cross, she came back to life. And she was alive again. And that cross was enshrined as a relic, as the cross of Christ. The sign of victory, the instrument of healing, and the very instrument of our salvation and so we celebrate today the exaltation of the Holy Cross. Confident of God's great love for us, we now pray. For the church, that we may be a model of forgiveness and mercy in a world that shouts out for vengeance and retribution, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those seeking forgiveness and for those who believe they cannot be forgiven, that they may know God's unconditional and eternal promise of mercy and forgiveness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For catechists and all those who teach the faith to children, catechumens, and learners of all ages, that their ministry may help both student and teacher grow in knowledge and passion for their faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For grandparents, living and deceased, in thanksgiving for all the blessings we have received from them and for the prominent role they have played in many of our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Tammy Wilson, Joanne Schlemmer, Gabby Short, Thomas Didia, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all who have died, especially Susan Buckholder, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the spiritual intentions of the O'Gara family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold silently in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We thank you, Lord, for all of your gifts to us. We thank you for our salvation through the cross. And in confidence, we ask that you would hear and answer our prayer according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May May the the Lord Lord accept accept the sacrifice to your hands hands for for the the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancel the offense of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, from all our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We We lift lift them up up to to the the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is is right right and and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross so that we're death arose, life might again spring forth. And the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered. We pray through Christ our Lord. Through him angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in their unending hymn of praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy holy Lord, God God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. 
And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, world. for by, by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick and St. John Hughes, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family that you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. 
let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself, says the Lord. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. The body of Christ. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. God.